Now that we are reducing time and air, let us also add collectible items to increase the time and air. So going over here inside of our game sprites and over here collectibles, I'm going to drag the air, here it is. I'm going to drag the time, here it is. And select both of these and put them on the collectibles layer and set their scale to 0.5 for X and the Y and attach a circle collider on both of these. So circle collider 2D and there you go. This is, you know, we can leave it like this. For this one, this is the air. We can maybe reduce it just a little bit, maybe over here, there you go. We can also fix this by going inside of the sprite and slicing it a little bit better. I'm lazy, I'm not going to do that. Make sure that both of these are set to be triggers. And over here in the collectibles, this is where we are going to place them. But before we do that, of course, we are going to create a script for them because, you know, why not? So going over here inside of the assets and scripts and gameplay control or gameplay scripts, right click over here and create a new C sharp script. I'm going to call this one collectible. For whatever reason, it's not creating from the first time. I don't know why. Collectible. And attach this on the air and the time. And single script is going to determine which is which. So collectible, there you go. We're going to see now how we're going to de determine that. There are multiple ways we can use tags and compare tags. We can also use a simple Boolean variable, which is much, much more simpler. Because here at the top, I'm simply going to say private bool and I'm going to say time collectible. So denoting if this is a time collectible or not, meaning that we should increase the time when you pick it up. Or if it's not, then it's the air collectible. And over here, we're also going to have a private float collectible value. By default, I'm going to set that to be equal to 15. And inside of on trigger enter 2D, we're going to detect if our collision, so if the collision dot compare tag to the tag manager player tag, that means we have collided with the player itself. And now depending on which collectible it is, so if it's the time collectible, so if time collectible, we're going to do one thing, else if it's not the time collectible then we are going to do another thing and this goes over here like that there you go and over here at the bottom we're simply going to say game object set active to false because when you know the player picks up the collectible we're simply going to deactivate the collectible if you like this tutorial series, then you can learn a lot more in my Game Development Academy with over 80 courses and over 500 hours of content where I'm going to teach you Unity Game Development, Unreal Engine Game Development, and much more with a more comprehensive guide with a lot more examples than this one that you're following. If that sounds interesting, click the link down below and check it out. For a very small monthly fee, you can learn all of that, have unlimited access, and help support this cause. So click the link down below, and I will see you in the Academy. Now, when we pick up the time collectible, we are going to increase the time. When we pick up the air collectible, we are going to increase the air. So let's go over here inside of our gameplay controller, right below our reduce air and reduce time. We're going to create a public void, increase air and increase time. So air and over here, it takes a float air as a parameter, which is going to be the value by which we are going to increase. So I'm going to say air value plus equals air. This is very simple, very, very simple. And we do need to make sure that if our air value is greater than the air threshold, so air threshold, actually, excuse me, air max, then we're going to say our air value is equal to the air max value. So over here, it's air max, there you go. Same process for the time. So over here, I'm going to say public void in increase time, float time, there you go. And simply over here, we're going to say time value plus equals the time that we have. And then if our time value is greater than the time maximum, then we're going to say time value is equal to time max. And there you go. Over here inside of the collectible, so if it's the time collectible, we are going to call our gameplay controller dot instance increase dot increase time. There you go. Passing over here the collectible value. That is the value that we are going to increase it by. And over here, we're simply going to say increase air. Again, 
passing the collectible value. So if I go back over here inside of our editor, for example, for the time, I'm going to check this checkbox because this is the time collectible. So when we pick it up, if I hit the play button, we are going to notice first, we're going to let the time in the air drag down a little bit or reduce. So notice now when I pick up this collectible, how the green slider is going to move up a little bit. Look at now, there you go, he moved up. And look at now the blue one, when I pick it up, there you go, he moved up a little bit, or well, basically up to the full. So there you go, if I go back over here, what are we doing? Simply calling a function to increase adding this parameter to this value over here, checking if that value is greater than the maximum that we have set, and then if it's true, set the current value to the maximum. For example, if air here has a value of 15 as we see, and the current air value in the game is 10. 15 plus 10, that's 25. We set over here the maximum to be 20, so it's going to test if the current value, which is 25, is greater than the maximum, which is 20. If that is true, set the current value to the maximum, which means 20. We're not going to allow it to be above the maximum value. Same thing over here for the time, exactly same explanation. And over here, simply by using this time collectible, we are going to determine which collectible item is the time, which one is the air. So based on that over here, if we collide with the player, then we are going to check if this is the time collectible, increase the time, else if it's the air collectible, increase air. What is left for us to do is go here into the prefabs and the collectibles ones. So collectible prefabs, simply put both of these there and select them here and drag them into the collectibles. There you go. And now simply put them inside. And where is this air to? What the hell did I do? Okay, there you go. Anyways, you can just duplicate these. Did I duplicate it or did I delete it? Okay, there you go. Anyways, you still need to duplicate it and place them all over the level. So place them where you want them to be collected. For example, this one can go over here and then the time can go somewhere around here. When we jump, we should also collect the time and duplicate them and then, you know, just position them wherever you want to position them. So one can go over here, another one for the air can go over here. You get the point. This is up to you. Do that on your own. If something was not clear when it comes to this video, make sure that you ask in the comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video.